Sup, Tikan here with another video. Today we're talking Google Pixel Buds 2. It's 2020. If you haven't already, make way for wireless. We got the Pixel Buds 2 in the box here. As soon as you open it, you're going to be greeted with the egg-shaped case. Let's put that aside. What else do we got? We get some extra sizes for rubber fittings. We get a charging USB-A to USB-C cable. And last but not least, actually at least nobody reads these, we get the manual. So let's go ahead and just reassemble the box with the things that we're not going to need right now. The case comes wrapped in a plastic covering, so just go ahead and take that off. And as soon as you snap it open, you are greeted with your brand new Pixel Buds 2. So now that we've seen the unboxing, let's just go ahead and get more into the details. All right, so I've had a pretty good three days of views with these Google Pixel Buds. I'm wearing them right now, as you can tell. And there are a couple things that I want to talk to you about, starting with some of the look and design and then moving more into the features of the actual headphones. So let's get started. As far as the look goes, uh, you can tell for yourselves here. Just go ahead and take a look. They are a pretty good clean design. White color is the only thing that's available right now. It does come in this egg-shaped case here, which you saw in the unboxing. I don't know if I'm going to be keeping these white ones. I kind of wanted the black ones or maybe even the oh so orange to match with my Pixel 4 XL. But that's all that's available right now. So if you have some right now, they're going to be white only. As far as <laughs> the case goes, um, and I've seen this going around, it's got a pretty satisfying click to it. Not only that, but actually the way that the Pixel Buds snap into the case themselves, um, I found myself kind of feeling a little bit like Thanos when he's snapping the stones into the glove. You just kind of let them go and they pop right in. Uh, so, so that's pretty cool to me, honestly. I, I really enjoy that a lot. So I find myself taking them out and putting them back in a lot. So the pairing for these, it's really quite simple. I have a Pixel 4 XL, so I don't know what your process is going to be like with any other phone, but it should be similar. You will have to download the Pixel Buds app on the Pixel 4 XL. It actually was already there because Google made it an automatic download. So it was already present on there. What I did, I just opened the case and it came right up to go ahead and set up the device. Um, you go through some of the steps. It shows you a lot of the features as well that you can use. And I'll be talking about those a little bit later. Um, but it only takes about a minute to go through the process, so it's actually really easy. As far as the fit and the comfort of these headphones, they are really nice. Again, really light. You, you, you don't even notice that you have them on. I ended up putting the smaller rubber fittings on these because I had the medium and I have different size ears. So at first my right one was medium, my left one was small, but then I found that um, even on the right one, it was starting to get kind of uncomfortable with the medium. So I ended up switching to the small, even though the medium provided better seal. And I find that that actually works a lot better. So I'm running small on both and they seem to be fitting pretty well. The one complaint that I have about these headphones, um, and it seems to be again more of a problem with my right ear, is the horn design uh, that sticks out of the headphone in order to keep it locked in your ear. The previous ones that were cable ones, uh, even though I hate those headphones, they had more of a loop that you could adjust the size, so I ended up adjusting it to a size that didn't hurt my ear. I found that after hours of wearing these buds, my right ear just starts to hurt right here around where the horn is. And it's not really that pleasing, especially when you're trying to listen to something um, and you want to put them back on. It hurts at first. <laughs> and then even when I touch it, when I take them out and I just touch my ear there, it's just kind of sensitive. I'm sure my ears will get adjusted to it, but it'd be nice to have like an adjustable length or something to the um, horn so that it doesn't poke into my ear as much. It doesn't seem to be a problem with my left ear, though. I could wear it all day and it doesn't bother me. So as far as features, when you set up the buds, the setup will actually walk through through all the features, but I just want to go over them with you. So you do get the Google Assistant built into the headphones. So you can tap and hold and say the command that you want, and the Assistant will actually run it for you. Or you can use the hot phrase, which I'm not going to say. I don't want to trigger all your phones unless you're an Apple user. It won't bother you, but um, I don't want to trigger your phones or mine right now. Um, but you can do that as well ask anything and the Google Assistant is available for you, whether it's replying to texts, um, checking notifications or anything like that. To check notifications, you actually press and hold and once you hear the sound, you let go, it'll tell you the time and read you any notifications and then it'll let you reply as well. 
Another feature that comes with these buds is find my device. I actually at first found it kind of useless because when you first click on them to make them ring, basically the headphones could be sitting anywhere. Um, you, you click on each bud to make them ring. And I was like, I can't even hear that. Turns out you gotta wait about 10 seconds. It starts soft and starts to get louder and louder and louder. And I'll just keep a quiet moment here so that you guys can see the little demo as to how loud they can get. So you also do get other touch controls that come with the headphones. Um, swipe forward turns up the volume, swipe back turns down the volume. I've actually found it really accurate. I don't have any problems like swiping the wrong direction or anything because it's really the way they fit in your ear. You just swipe this way and it's up that way and it turns it down um, and it works 100% of the time for me. Uh, it, you touch it once to play and pause or to answer a phone call and then you double tap to go to the next track or to end a phone call and then you triple tap to repeat the track or to go backwards basically. So those are all the touch controls that are available with the buds. It works on either ear and I think it's actually really comfortable. I just, I'm a righty so I tend to go to my right ear. You also get in-ear detection with these. So um, you can turn this on and off but basically if you're playing a track and you take one headphone out the headphone at that point um, detects that it's out of your ear, so it pauses whatever you're doing. Uh, as soon as you put it back, it keeps playing. I think it works really well. There is a bit of a delay. I think it could be a bit faster. Sometimes you take it out and it takes maybe two seconds uh, before it stops playing something. So if someone's talking to you, you don't have that uh, passive sound like you do with the AirPods Pro, where it's like that transparency mode. So sometimes it's hard to hear people. So that's something that I would probably work on if I were Google. Um, just make that a little bit better. The one thing I would fix with the controls is that the assistant can read your notifications if you tap and hold and wait for that sound, right? The one problem I have is that every single time that I put my headbuds in, for some reason when I get a notification, I'll get instructions in my ear and I'll pause what I'm doing to tell me, hey, if you want to hear this notification, this is what you got to do. I've had these for three days. I don't need that to keep happening. So that is something that is bothering me a little bit. As far as the volume and the actual sound of these buds go, it has really good sound. Um, I love it. I actually, to my preference as to how I like to listen to music, they're perfectly tuned. You don't get a lot of bass, so you feel that person that likes to crank the bass like crazy. These are not the buds for you. Um, you can't have any sort of custom equalizer where you can adjust the sound either. It's not built into the app. Hopefully Google adds to that in the future, but you basically can't customize the sound right now. Highs, mids, and lows, those sound really good and they're very well balanced. And you do get bass, it's just again, if you like that extra boost, you're not gonna get it. I find myself listening to everything at about 70, 60 to 75% of the max volume to just listen to it at a good volume that I like to listen to things at. So I think these buds could definitely have a software update in the future where you increase the max volume. They're definitely not loud enough for a lot of different things. So as far as the volume for music goes, I guess it's okay. Again, most of the time I'm at about 75% volume to listen to it at an enjoyable rate. Of course, I'm not hearing things around me at that point, but I like to listen to music pretty loud. And then when you're watching videos, so whether it's TikTok or someone talking, um, I have family chats on WhatsApp and there's videos on there all the time. Sometimes I have to crank it up to 100% and it's very soft. So I think for certain applications, having more volume would actually help. And what Google needs to do is implement the same thing that Samsung does, which is just have a recommended listening range, right? And then have a warning saying anything above, you know, these decibels could ruin your hearing and then allow you to turn it up a bit more. I think that would make sense. Um, and I think that would make these buds that much better. As far as battery life goes, I've had these buds for three days. I did charge the case once and that's just because I wanted to see how much percentage it took to charge the buds from 0 to 100, which is about 14%. It went from 100 to 96, so it takes about 14% battery, so on a perfect world, you could charge these about 7 times. That's not going to be the case, it's probably going to be closer to 5 times, but it worked really well. When I charged the case though, I've ha I had had them for two days already. It was at 40% and I'd use these buds on and off for a while. I'm not a super heavy user, but I do get a pretty good amount of listening time with these. Um, and I've found that the battery life lasts just enough for me to be able to do what I want to do. Whether you have a flight, most flights will be, um, I don't know, flights that I take are usually about three hours to four hours. They're going to last 
that amount of time perfectly. 10 minutes of charge is supposed to get you two hours of listening time. In 10 minutes, they actually came up to about 52%. So according to the advertised listening time of five hours, yeah, it's about two hours that you get or two and a half hours that you get with the 10 minute charge because it brings them up to 50%. As far as the connection goes, Google is claiming that you have connection up to 100 yards. Uh... I don't agree with that. Um, the buds might stay connected up to 100 yards. Doesn't mean you're listening to anything. It's just the Bluetooth won't tell you it's disconnected. So what I found is that about 20 to 25 yards, it already starts cutting out. Um, and then as you go further and further, it just becomes worse and worse. I didn't walk up to the point where it just completely disconnected because again, I didn't feel like walking 100 yards. Maybe I'll do that later in the future. With walls around, I've left my phone upstairs, gone downstairs to every area of the house. The music keeps playing, but and I know that this is something that's gonna happen. I have a big glass door in the back, and as soon as I go to my backyard, I could go like 10 yards, and if I leave the phone inside, it automatically just starts disconnecting all the time. So I can't listen to anything leaving my phone inside and going outside unless there wasn't maybe glass in front of it. I don't know if it's making that huge of a difference, but that's the one factor that I found that just ruins the listening range. I did have one issue yesterday with these buds, and that is with the connection. For some reason, I would put in both buds and only the right one was working. I thought maybe the left one was dead. I checked, the battery was at 90%. I was a little bit confused, so I couldn't get it to work no matter what I did. So I ended up resetting the connection and having to reconnect these to my phone. And then it worked again, but that was really strange. The other thing with the connection is that unlike the AirPods um, or things like that, I think Google could work on the lag between opening the case. So when you flip the case open, you're supposed to get percentages of battery and just details on your on your buds but i found that it sometimes it can even take up to 20 seconds or so before anything pops up on your phone and sometimes that can be an issue if i'm just trying to see the levels or see um, if they're charged or not or what i need to do just to get quick details i find that when you flip the case open the first time it takes a while after that the more you open it like if it's already been synced it's going to pop up more frequently but compared to air airpods where you open the case and it automatically ex instantaneously opens up. I think Google could work on that a little bit, but they're good overall. And we're to the last section of the video where we're gonna talk about the microphone quality. I've been wearing these the whole video because I'm using the microphone to record the sound here. You guys be the judge, let me know what it sounds like. I'm turning off the effects in this section right here so that you guys can hear the raw sound quality that comes out of these microphones. Go ahead and let me know what you think. Again, you guys be the judge. Leave a comment in the section below whether you like these, don't like these, um, what you like about them the most if you have them, what you don't like or what's keeping you from getting them. Be sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel for more updates. Catch you next time.